without a end. Oh crap! I have 59 minutes left. That's because I haven't edited my review for Godzilla X Kong. Well, it's a dumb movie review for both Godzilla X Kong movies. Did you see that? But uh, did you guys see God? Oh, you asking me? Yeah. Oh, of course. I've seen it twice. Uh, we plan to see it third time this Wednesday. Yeah, because you got an endless pass. All right, Regal Unlimited. I have a funny this. I have a funny story to mention. But I, oh, now I remember what I was going to say. So yeah, I now have to try to record wisely, not to record too much, so I'm able to post what this or something. What if I put any profanity in there? Matt, do no, that. No, no, it's fine because I can bleep it out because I'm editing this video. Matt, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put profanity no, in there. No, you are not. You have to go through and bleep the, it all Anna, out. it's fine. I can bleep it all out. He's I'm not editing this. Bleep anything. You're not <laughs> swearing. Oh no, you don't. No, of course I'm no. gonna bleep it all out. Okay. If it's something like no, no, Grandpa I can't say that. I'm, <laughs> Grandpa farted. Oh my gosh, man. Uh, don't they just. Nobody needs to hear you. Stop. Stop, no. stop, stop. <laughs> Funny story before I even say anything and open whatever you have back there. So, um, so as soon as I got home, I had realized that, oh my, oh shoot, I forgot my graduation. Because earlier at school today, I had picked up my graduation gown. Oh, you did your cap and gown? Yeah, but I had realized I left it in class, so I, I mean, Did you I, go back and get it? I, I'm, I'm explaining oh, it. Sorry. So, go ahead. Um, yeah, I try to find my missing earbuds because I cannot function throughout the day without having to listen to music. Did you find them? No, I did not. I don't oh. know what happened. The last time I had them was when we, I went to go to a birthday party around the 31st of March. I don't I know. All oh, that's driving me insane, and I'm in desperate need because my headphones, I thought they were working all right, but. They are dying out. The battery is stuck at 20% and they're dying out on me every 17 seconds every time I use them. But still, I just eventually gave up finding. I cleared everything underneath the bed. Now, I did find like a moth crawling on my wall. I'm like, ah, ah, I didn't kill it. So it's, Do you realize a moth? They eat. They, they eat bugs. bugs. Yeah, but you don't. Kill a moth. A moth is harmless. Okay, well in that case, it's alive because I I missed yeah. it. I, it's Miller, under. It's most likely. Miller, they do not hurt you at all, Matthias. I'm 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 not into bugs. They, I know. I don't care for me. Either. Still, still though. Leave Miller's um, alone. Moths. They attract the light. Yeah. Eventually, I just uh, gave up and was like, okay, sure. I'm just gonna go get my dang thing. I so I just got dressed, even though I was already dressed. I just immediately rushed, rode my bike. All the way to school. I'm not that too far. I could walk there or ride there, but I rode. I was dying. Like, and I did find a spare earbuds. Just the downside is that one of them is missing, like a piece that fell off because I kept dropping them so many times. Yeah. Now they still work, so I'm gonna have to use them until I get new ones. And I, I like the other ones because obviously you've seen them. Uh, I could just they're like earrings. I don't even put them in my earwax or anything. I really like those earbuds. I don't know what happened to them, but still, those though. The ones your uh, dad got you? No, no, mom got me them, actually. Oh, the ones dad got me, I may have somehow lost at the theater when we went to go see Dress World Dominion two years ago. Oh, boy. That's the last place I saw those earbuds that dad got me, and I was bummed out, like, oh, no, how did I lose them? But still, so, yeah, I'm riding my bike, having music playing in the background uh, in the earbuds, and, like, I'm, like, dying as I don't have anything to drink or water or anything. Like, I just, I just... Basically, excuse my language, hauled ass to school just to get my graduation gown from class. And as soon as I arrive, I run and then just bang on the door like, ah, there's someone in there. I need to know. God, please tell me I'm in on time. And luckily, my teacher was there. Like, and he was on the bag. He's like, oh, okay, I'm assuming that. you're looking for this. And I asked, so, so I, I need to blow my nose because I had a running nose. I still have a running nose. I am a bit better. I'm not that sick, but I still have a running nose at the moment. But yeah, I blew my nose, and he said, oh, the water's right here, and I just took a bottle of water and just jug, 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 and just, you know, just chatting a bit, but, yeah, I made it there just in the nick of time before he was gonna lock up his classroom, so, yeah, then I just rode back, not, like, riding super fast, just like, okay, now I can ride back now that I have my graduation gown and stuff, so, yeah, that's a, that's Did my... Did you find it? Oh, yeah, I was able to get, I got there just in the nick of time before he closed up, so... Yeah, now it's just chilling you in my got room. Both, right? you got it all? Yeah, oh yeah, it's all in one bag. I got That's it all awesome. back. Oh good. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Anyway, so you mentioned I don't know where to put my phone at. I could just hold it between my between my between my I don't I I just hold it. I probably can drop my cover. I can hold it like this. So you mentioned Oh, what do we have here? Yeah. yeah. My birthday was two days ago, as I've turned 18, but still, though, that's fine. I was patient enough. 
You are patient. Like, I'm not in the rut. Okay, yep. don't have yep. anything okay. sharp to. That's all right. There should be on the side. What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> wait. Did I get the wrong one? Oh, boy. This has been embarrassing. Is that the wrong one? Uh, I did ask you to get me a Miles Morales pop, but I already have this pop. Oh, I wonder what this is. I could be a game or a move. Oh, <laughs> oh, I got an Uncharted game. Oh, I've wanted to play the game since the movie came out like two years ago, but now I get to play them. I, I wanted to play the games when, uh, like, yeah, I, wanted, I never played the games, but I saw the movie. I enjoyed it. It was all right. I uh, look forward to the sequel, though. And, oh. Yeah, I'm surprised that you had that on your list. I figured you already had it. Yeah, no, I the, so I did ask you for a Miles Morales pop, but it was the video game Miles Morales. I had already gotten. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> that the right one? Uh, well, I got a Ghostbusters Funko Pop. I've wanted to get this one since the new one I came out. This is Graka. Is that the wrong one? Uh, no, I think I asked you to get me you this. Did. I don't remember asking you to get me the video game pops of of the Spider-Man, Spider-Man game, which would be oh. the PS4 and PS5, Miles Morales and Spider-Man. Uh, okay, so that wasn't, I didn't get that. You didn't get the, right. I, I don't you, think, well, I only click on whatever you gave me. Oh, I know That's what the last that one is. But, uh, all right, funny story about uh, this, uh, that's all right, this Lego set. I had already had it. Unfortunately, my little brother got into my Lego sets while I was in Florida with my dad for about a year and got into them and lost most of the pieces, so. Now, wait a minute. Is that the one that we were going to keep all the pieces? Oh, no, no. That's the Indoraptor one. Oh, okay. No, that's the Indoraptor one. Uh, this, no, yeah. Uh, I thought it was the end, the end game. Uh, end game? No, 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 the only set that I need to... Remember we got that one and we were going to see what pieces were missing? No, that's the Indoraptor set. Oh, okay. I thought it was a different one. Okay. No, 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 it's the Indoraptor set. So yeah, now I gotta get the other one with the whole buster. Here, let's put these in here. All right, yes, the game Funko Pop. Oh, would you look at that, Deja Vu. We're sitting in the same table that we were when we were playing Vu Part One. Yeah. That was like two months ago. Dang. That was flown by. Oh right, I haven't even explained what this video is about. So yeah, this is a movie vlog of me going to go see a movie that's been released as for the next upcoming Mondays. I don't know if you've been aware, but yeah, Spider-Man movies are being released in theaters every single Monday in celebration of uh, 100 years at Columbia Pictures. And here's what blows my mind about all this. Um, my grandmother has never seen a single Spider-Man movie. Is that true? Oh, you've only seen the first Spider-Man movie, but the rest have Okay, well, she's seen this one. And yes, well, of course, I've seen the rest. The only movies I've seen in theaters of Spider-Man were Taz and Tail, Far From Home, and No Way Home. The rest I've not seen in theaters, and, uh, yeah, there's no way I was going to miss out on watching my childhood movies on the big screen with the Sam Raimi trilogy. So, uh, yeah, pretty much every single Monday, I'm going to be doing eight different movie vlogs of me going to go see... Uh, all eight Spider movies with my grandparents, so that is gonna be fun. And right now we're getting Red Robin. And, oh, I see that up. He's coming in, and yeah, I I'd, I'd love to stay in trap. As I mentioned, I want to use the recording. Like I don't want to waste too much storage. Plus, we're about eight, so I'll still on the flip side. Three, two, one. Alrighty, so we're almost at the theater. As I had just stopped recording because I figured that'd be unnecessary of me just to record like last time where I was talking about. Remember we were talking about the last time we went to Applebee's before seeing a movie, which, yeah, kind of crazy that we were at the same table, you know, because the last time we were there, we were going to go see Doom Part 1, which, yeah, totally worth it. And now I'm waiting for Doom Part 3, as, did I, wait, did, did I told y'all that Doom Part 3 is happening? Yeah. Yeah, Doom, Messiah, happening. Doom Messiah is now happening, which, yeah. when is it coming out? As I mentioned, it could be either 2026 or 2027. So this could be a while, but hey, at least we got other great movies coming out in the next couple of years. But, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so I don't know if I've mentioned this, I know I've reviewed most of the Spider-Man movies on here in preparation for No Way Home when it was coming out at the time, but yeah, the Sp Spider-Man Sam Raimi trilogy have been one of my favorite child movies. Like, they're, they're one of my, oh, oh hey, Mini Coop, that almost looks identical to my mom's, but still, it's a Mini Coop. Yeah, sorry, 
Anyway, so yeah, the Sam Raimi trilogy are basically uh, my childhood movies because I got up and like those are probably the movies that got me into Spider-Man around the time. I mean, I was even born and well, I was born before Spider-Man three. I, the first one came out in 2002, then two in 2004, then the third one 2007. Well, my brother was born, but yeah, I was I was basically around when the third one had released, and at that time that was my favorite. But still, we're not seeing the third one as that won't be until like the end of April on the last Monday of April. But yeah, we're so yeah we're going to be seeing all the Spider-Man movies as I mentioned earlier. We're going to be seeing all of them every Monday from the 15th of April to the 3rd of June. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Spider-Man because this will be my first time seeing it in theaters. Unless... No, actually, never mind. No, it's not possible. This will, this will actually be my first time because I was not around when this was released in 2002. So, yeah. But, yeah, this will be my first time seeing it in theaters. I don't know if I saw the third one in theaters. That's why my mom took me to see a lot of movies as a baby. And yet I was quiet in the theater. But that would explain why I am obsessed going to the movies a lot. I'm basically a movie junkie. Is that the right way to say yes, it? Right yeah, I'm basically, I'm basically a movie junkie or a movie... I don't know. I, there was another word I got from another friend of mine. But still, though, I'm basically a movie junkie. What can I say? I love movies so much. I could have worn a costume like Tobey Maguire's costume for the, his movies and then Andrew's costume for his movies and then Tom's costume for his movies, but... I figured a shirt would be easy. I have a no helm shirt. Besides, the costumes I search up online are way too expensive. But hey, shirt will do, because no helm has the three Spider-Man in it. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, oh! Look at that. We've arrived at the theater. Let's go, folks. Oh, would you look at that? There's a poster for the Spider Mondays! Take a picture of it. Oh, don't geek! I'll take a picture. Yeah, I'll we walk. Like we have, burgers, Mom. We have to find a parking spot first before I get yeah. I'll get a picture once we get out of the car. Double feature. It might have been, I don't know, I might have been 10. Yeah, yeah, well, I started going to the movies as a baby, as an infant, and oh, the, the poster. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to get, like, a picture of the thumbnail. Hang on. <sighs> Sorry, try to get in the picture. Oh, oh my. What? Well, well, not my dad. Besides, I already have a stand at that regal. I'm talking. I'm talking next to it. <laughs> Where did that guy get that poster? Where did he get that poster? He has a Spider-Man poster. Where did he get that? I gotta, oh, look, I ask, oh, oh, hey, look, King of the Dead in the I'm gonna want to get pictures of these. Well, we could, so, like, I mean, we got time to spare. I mean, the, well, the hot topic is, like, over there, but the poster, he has a Spider-Man poster. And it did. Okay, hang on. I like to collect posters. But just, oh, my lordy. Okay, so, I, there's already, I, I'm not, I wasn't too excited about, then I thought I was getting excited about this. Now I am going to check this out, but no, I am talking about this. Hey, what? Yeah, that's what I No, okay, grab, grab, on. hang on. Someone get a picture. No, this. Matthias, Matthias, stand, no, you don't need that picture. No, 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 it's for the video. I was just doing that for the video. What? Oh, he was freaking out already. Where'd you get the poster? <laughs> no, I saw her playing the first Spider-Man. I was kind of bummed on working tonight. Uh, I thought about calling out of work, so I could be watching myself. Uh, got these posters. They're free of charge if you'd like them. Yeah, he would. That's, oh, I think that's I'm the only so, one I've ever seen. I'm, yes, yeah, this is the only was, Spider-Man movie you've seen in theaters, apparently, well, yeah, while yeah, the rest you you've never seen. you were born when it came out. No, I wasn't even born when this came out. What was it, like 2000? Uh, the first one came out 2002, then the yeah. second one 2004, but... Around that time, I was born for a Spider-Man movie. Was the third one, 2007, which would be the year my brother was born. Okay. Thank you. But uh, no, that cardboard stand. Oh my God! This. Is... <clears throat> I'm collecting. I'm collecting these bad boys. But I'm definitely want to get posters at the good cardboard stands, like King of the Planet of the Apes. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. I gotta rewatch that. Planet of the Apes movies in, in preparation. Hey, come on! I like to include friends and family in my vlogs. Literally, I cannot wait for this movie. I don't know why they didn't don't have this at my Regal Theater, but oh, it's so beautiful, so beautiful! I cannot freaking.
can wait for this movie. I so cannot wait. I so cannot wait. I just, I, I, I need that second trailer, which will be out once King of the Apes is out. Oh, so I did not know that the theater was packed for Spider-Man. Last I checked, it wasn't much, but as we were getting tickets, it's a bit packed, but, uh, I did not even know they were selling up posters, but I'm collecting each one for each movie, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot stop obsessing with the poster. That cardboard stand, I mean, just... It's so beautiful. I, 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 I kind of want to take it home with me. I know I don't have enough room in my small room, but just... That's literally, like, my most anticipated movie. Is right there of the year. Then after that, out, my next most spam movie for 2024 will be Sonic Movie 3. Oh, by the way, Keanu Reeves is voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. That's cool. Now it may not be Hayden, but I ain't complaining. I'm that like this is a this is somebody fan casted this like two years ago, and someone I bet that person's probably happy that they've been that Keanu is voicing Shadow. Oh, just look at that! They got a popcorn bucket for the If movie. That's nice. That's nice to know. But, uh, hang on. The one pop. Oh, we're getting drinks. Okay, alright, let's do this. Oh, red one, cherry one, blue raspberry, and Slimer's back. Bro. It's basically blue raspberry. Yeah, it's just got a. This is probably lime or something. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a lime. Maybe. Okay, ready? Yeah, 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 let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You can stack a couple of them, too. Here it is, ladies and gents. Okay. Also, oh, hang on. Before I go in, I'm gonna send a message to my. Oh, I won't be sending my my friend Ryan uh, back in Vegas for this. Yeah. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Nice Spiderman shirt. Thank you. All right. Don't know if you've. Uh, I did chat with him about this. I was like, all oh, the movies are coming back in theaters. So, hey, if you're seeing this, which I'm definitely gonna be sending this video. Hope you snuck out of the house to go see it. I, that was a joke he said, I think, but so though, uh, yeah, don't, uh, dang it, I, I forgot what I was going to say on this. I, 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 like, I wanted to shout him out. You know, just, okay. yeah, if you're seeing this, uh, I'm about to go watch Spider Man, so, yeah, cheers to you, mate. Howdy. Now, technically, I did record footage last night of us coming out of the theater, but uh, I kind of wanted to do a redo because I just kept mumbling, screwing up a bit, and had no idea what to bring up because I was in awe of just seeing Spider-Man for the first time in theaters. By the way, I just put up a poster that I've collected up on the wall, and I just realized I should have collected two more. I, I got another one from my brother, but I should have got another one from my friend Ryan. Uh, anyways, uh, shout out, shout out to you, buddy. Uh, hopefully you got the chance to see these movies in theaters. If not, at least try to catch the other ones or some. I don't know. Hopefully they might. Ah, oh, they might not have other posters. Ah, I don't know. I should have grabbed the other one. Unless, unless I just give that to Ryan. Sorry, D. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give the poster to Ryan. I'm sorry, D. And with that being said, so before I talk about my quick thoughts on just the experience and I guess my quick thoughts again on the movie. So, as the previews were playing, uh, the, the, the trailer for Furiosa was, like, glitching up a bit. Like, no. I was like, oh boy, uh, something wrong with the projector? Like, I, I'm not joking. I should have got this on camera, actually. Like, it was, I mean, the trailer was fine. It's played throughout the, like, it wasn't glitching or anything, but, like, there was, like, a, a glitch. Some, something. Like, something wrong with the projector. It was as if, as if. The DVD you just put on your DVD player was scratched. And I figured that was just only for that trailer, but it was then doing it for Wednesday, so they cut the projector and my PTSD kicked in because I was like, oh god, I was so worried if something like what happened last year was going to happen again. And what happened last year? Oh, in case for those of you that don't know, me and my mom went to go see an early screen for The Flash in IMAX, and uh... The theater that we went to did not have the damn movie, so we had to get a refund, and that had that became one of my first ever bad theater movie experiences. Like, I cannot believe that. Like, Jesus Christ. I still can't believe that even happened last year, but no. I was so scared if something like that 
was going to happen again. Like, no, 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 not again. Especially with Spider-Man. No, no. <laughs> but luckily, problem was solved. And yeah, they played the movie and man, it was an experience. And obviously, there was no way I could have seen this in theaters when it was released in 2002 because I was even born around that time. I probably already mentioned it earlier in the video. <laughs> Forgive me if this is a bit of a messy movie vlog, but... I'll try to do better than in next Monday's movie vlog, but still though. No, this was de this is something like this is just a once in a lifetime opportunity. Sure, I could watch it over and over again on Disney Plus, since most of the Spider movies are on Disney Plus. I'm just waiting for the Spider Verse films to be on there as well, along with No Way Home. Where's No Way Home? When's it gonna be on Disney Plus, Marvel? Anyways, but just uh, yeah, this was just a one once in a lifetime opportunity, and uh, that's one down. I got some more to go. As, I'm, I now just can't wait for next Monday. Usually, I'm not a fan of Mondays unless there's a Marvel trailer out. That just comes out of the blue, but just... Yeah, I'm now gonna be looking forward to the next few Mondays, so... It's gonna be fun. But I was quoting on some of the lines that are, well, famous for me. Like, the Sam Raimi trilogy are always memeable movie. Like, no, they're so full of memes. The third one, mainly, but... Like, no, I... <laughs> now I'm just wondering when I even got into memes, but just... I just couldn't help it, especially around, like, the final battle with... You spun your last web, Spider-Man. Have you not been so selfish? Your little girlfriend's death would have been quick and painless, but now that you've really pissed me off, I'm gonna finish her. Nice and slow. No, like, that final battle is always gonna be one of my favorite scenes from this movie, and... While I hear what people are saying about Spider-Man 2 being the best in the trilogy, but also one of the best superhero movies of all time, or best comic book movies of all time, whether, which is one of the two, I don't know which one would be, unless it's both. I still don't see why it's the best. I mean, maybe I could slightly see, but I don't know. We shall see if my opinion shall change next Monday. Not that I didn't like Spider-Man 2. I could say it's my least favorite, but I, I like it. It's just that I don't say it. I, I have, I have difficulty. I am having trouble trying to understand why it's exactly the best, and I know I've made a review on it, but I bet that whatever I nitpicked about Spider-Man 2, like, the nitpicks I had was basically the whole point about Peter Parker as Spider-Man, since I know how he is supposed to be, and it's kind of a bit messed up how most of us just want to see him suffer, because it's common accuracy. But so, we'll, we'll talk about Spider-Man 2 next week, but still, anyway, so, yeah. Uh, the first one... I, I, like, as a kid, the third one was always my all-time favorite before I knew what was going on behind the scenes. But, uh, the first one, I definitely had it somewhere close up to my... I definitely had a special place for the first movie to my heart. And, yeah, it's just my personal favorite out of the trilogy. And I could say it's the best in the trilogy for me personally, but I might... I'm, I mean, I could agree with everyone that, okay, I can see why number two is the best. So we shall see next Monday, but still, though. Like, no, yeah, again, the first movie is my personal favorite out of the trilogy, but it's also one of my personal favorite childhood movies. This movie probably is the reason why I fell in love with Spider-Man in the first place. Because Spider-Man's a very popular character, like, do I need to show off many Spider-Man stuff? Okay, I have, I don't know if I have any, you know what, let me show off any merchandise I can find that has to do with Spider-Man. Look right here, here's the Funko Pops of Spider-Man, and look right here, I got Miles Morales Spider-Man. Of course, the Spider-Verse. I'm still waiting for Beyond the Spider-Verse, by the way. And I got all uh, three Spider-Man villains. The Bob's over there. Uh, I'm going to give those to my brother since I already have the villains in there. Unfortunately, he won't have the Lizard and Sandman. Unless he finds another eight pack of them at uh, his Walmart. If Dad is willing to spend a uh, hundred bucks on it. <laughs> Hi, future me editing this video. There's another, one more thing that I, I have that has to do with Spider-Man. It's going to be a little bit embarrassing to confess. <laughs> My old Spider-Man blanket that I've had throughout my entire childhood. Well, I've had other blankets before, but, uh, don't know how many years I've had this. I just know that, yeah, I've had this for a long time, and, uh, yeah, I don't plan on getting rid of it, so good luck with that, Mom and Dad. Oh, that's a good smell. Oh, shit! I got that on camera. Oh, I might as well include Miguel over Like, just, I, like, I am obsessed with Spider-Man, and just... If whenever something Spider-Man related is out in theaters, or anything Spider-Man related, I will be there. Especially for the terrible Sony, uh, movies with Morbius, Madam Web, Madam Web. Oh god, I still need to do a review for that. Stay tuned for that, because I finally got my damn costume, which took me quite a, two, one or two months just to finally get. Unfortunately, I couldn't wear it to Madam Web at the time, but hey, at least I got the damn costume, which I'm going to be wearing for my review. Still... 
I'll be sure to make it some whenever I have the chance to. But anyway, so yeah, as I mentioned, I've already made a review, talk about my thoughts on Spider Man when No Way Home was coming out, and yeah, I did actually watch that last night just to see what I talked about in it, and yeah, I'm basically gonna recap it real quick, but have one slight change of what I mentioned because. In that review, I mentioned about how I felt bad for Mary Jane being treated like garbage in the movie, in the movies, mainly one and three, but I now see why nobody likes Mary Jane Watson, and as I hate to say it, yeah, I'll agree with most folks, she's not a great love interest, and I can even see the signs of why she's not a great love interest in the movies. Now, I like Christian Dunst as an actress, but just, uh... I, I could see, I now see why, and just how, um, uh, not everybody liked her in the movies. But I'll say this, Gwen Stacy's the best love interest out of all the Spider-Man love interests. I mean, Andrew and Emma Stone's chemistry in the Tazza movies, oh my god, chef's kiss! But yeah, the Tobey Maguire films were, like, my childhood for me, so, I, like, I love all Spider-Man equally, but yeah, Tobey's been my guy as as I was a little child, he he was my Spider Man at the time. Now I'll talk about one of my thoughts with Andrew once we get to the Tazza movies next month in May. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned in my movie review, Willem Dafoe is a fantastic villain as the Green Goblin. He practically scared the crap out of me when I first saw this movie as a kid. But yeah, I don't care what anyone says about his costume being stupid. I I have heard some folks say that his costume is stupid looking. I don't care. I've loved it since then. I love it now to this like, I still love it to this day. Like, I, I, I've not changed my thoughts about it. I, I, I fell in love with the costume. I like the costume design for the Green Goblin. But yeah, Willem Dafoe definitely kills it. He's definitely one of the best parts of this movie as uh, he's playing the main villain of the Green Goblin for Spider-Man. And as I mentioned earlier, my favorite scene out of this entire movie is definitely the final battle between Spider-Man and Green Goblin. Yes, it's brutal, but like, I'm sorry. It is just badass. Oh, and I don't know if I have brought this up in my movie review, even though I didn't watch it last night. Danny Elfman's theme for Spider-Man, Chef's Kiss. I was actually listening to that today at school. Like, no, I, I will listen to that theme song on a god dang loop. But yeah, overall, I, I was happy just to see this in theaters, and the theater was quite packed. As I checked tickets, it wasn't all that packed. Like, oh, looks like not that many people are going to go see it. At least, like, maybe five seats taken. But once we were there at the theater... No, it was almost packed. Like, there were more than five seats taken. Now, I've been seeing all over social media that everyone has had theater reactions of Spider-Man now. I didn't have that particular, but I'm not complaining. I mean, I did clap at the end of when the movie was over. And I was hoping everyone else would clap, but... Sadly, I was the, I was the only one. <sighs> okay. But yeah, overall, I was happy that I got to see this on the big screen. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to see Spider-Man 2 along with 3 on the big screen. In the next upcoming Mondays, which will be the 22nd and 29th of April. And, you know what? I know I was gonna wear a shirt to most of the Spider-Man movies, but for the third movie, I do have a costume for, oh, I don't know, the Black Spider-Man. So, Nana and Grandpa, I'm sorry, but this may, this might as well be my only time. My only time I wear a Spider-Man costume to a movie. So, <laughs> Oh boy, I'm totally gonna embarrass them. Oh well. But yeah, my rating's still the same as before, which is a 10 out of 10. And uh, yeah, I now would like to have next Monday be here, please. <laughs> Just, I, 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 I want to see these movies now in theaters. And I have to wait every single week, every single Monday. Like, oh my lordy, I'm already impatient. Like, can we just skip to next week, please? I, 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 like, actually, let's skip to July because of this that I had came across at the theater. They don't have this at my theater here, but oh my god, I was so happy to have got this. And it's funny how my Nana had thought I got excited over the Quiet Place Day 1 poster, which I'm still gonna check that movie out. No, I was not excited for that. I was excited for this. Like, I, I even bowed. If you've seen the in the video, I don't know if it was caught on camera, but I literally bowed down. Like, no, I, I, I need this movie now. I need July now. Like, can we just skip to July, please? Okay, alright, I think that's all I'm gonna say here for this redo video thing, but... So, though, again, as I mentioned earlier, I did record footage last night, but... I wanted to do a redo, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this movie vlog, and I'll see you all for next Monday for Spider-Man 2. Peace out.